Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you are all fine. In today's video we are going to make lead acid battery. It will be a cylindrical lead acid battery and I will tell you step by step, I will tell you each secret, each details uh, of the battery, how we can make our professional lead acid battery. Okay, let's start. First of all, I have two pieces of um, lead plates. As you see, I'm going to use one of these as a positive electrode and the other one is a negative electrode. And first of all, I need to etch the surface of the um, lead plates because when you etch the surface of the lead plate, the active material that we're going to apply to the surface of the lead plates uh, stick better and you will get better results when you finish your battery lead acid battery. And um, this lead acid battery will be a little bit uh, different than uh, normal regular lead acid battery because I'm going to add some uh, additives into the active material so the internal resistance of our battery will be uh, very low and the efficiency of our battery will be better than regular lead acid battery. Now I'm going to use uh, sandpaper to etch the surface uh, of the blade. You can also use a uh, sandstone or knife sharpener to etch the surface of the blade. Okay. Okay, my friends, we etched the surface of the plates. Now it's time to apply the active material on the surface of the lead plates. I will show you and tell you how you can make your how you can make your active material. This is a negative active material for negative electrode. There are um, lead powder inside it, and I just add some uh, graphite, ultra fine graphite powder into the uh, lead powder, and add some sodium silicate to make this paste and it very, it's a very nice active material for our lead acid battery. Now, if you want to make this uh, active material, you don't have to uh, buy lead powder on internet. If you have an old uh, lead acid battery, when you untap and uh, open up the uh, lead acid battery, the negative electrode, you can get the negative electrode and put it in a mortar and make it in a powder form and just add some graphite powder onto it and add some sodium silicate, mix it very well, you can get this active material. The ratio should be, uh, let's say, 10 grams of um, lead powder, 2 grams of graphite powder and 2 milliliter of sodium silicate and add some water and mix it until it becomes just like this, become a slurry. Uh, form and your active material is ready for your lead acid battery. Now, this is um, active material for positive electrode. Instead of lead powder, we have uh, lead dioxide inside uh, this active material and add some again, add again some uh, graphite powder. And the ratio should be the same with this one: 10 grams of uh, lead dioxide, 2 grams of um, uh, graphite powder, 2 milliliter of sodium silicate and mix them very well, you will get um, active material for your um, positive electrode. In normal, in regular lead acid batteries, there is no graphite inside it, but we add some graphite inside, inside these active materials, so the conductivity will be increased and the internal resistance will decrease uh, when you finish your battery. Now, I will apply with the with the help of a brush, I will apply the active materials to the uh, plates. By the way, the size of my lead plates is 20 centimeters long and 4 centimeters, 20 centimeters to 4 centimeters. And now I will apply the active material on the surface of the plates. By the way, my friends, lead dioxide and lead is very poisonous material. I recommend you to use hand gloves and 
uh, right after you finish your work just wash your hands with plenty of water and soap uh, uh, just a moment ago i just uh, cleaned my hands washed my hands so uh, if you are playing with these materials please take your safety precautions it's very important okay now i will apply the material on the surface just try to apply the material evenly on the surface as much as possible Now I'm going to use another brush to paint the negative electrode before again mix it very well. Okay, my friends, we just paint our plates. Now I will let them to dry for a few hours. After a few hours, after they completely dry, I'm going to paint the other sides of the plates and we'll continue to make our battery. Okay, my friends, our plates completely dry. Now we can move on to the next step. I'm going to use a uh, cleaning fabric, cleaning clothes as a separator, two piece of cleaning uh, clothes. Now I'm going to use these uh, cleaning clothes as a separator 25 centimeters and 5 centimeters it should be a little bit larger than the plates i'm going to use a piece of tape to stable it on the ground and the positive electrode okay just like this and put the second separator and put the negative electrode I'll put a little bit uh, further than the other one. Just positioning just like this. Now I am going to use another piece of tape. Okay. I'm going to use this piece of plastic to roll my uh, battery. Just put here. Okay, my friends, our battery is ready now. I will put it in this plastic container, in the plastic bottle. Okay, just put inside it. As you see, it's fitted very well. Okay, it's ready. Okay, my friends, our battery is almost ready now. I will add sulfuric acid solution, 30% water-based sulfuric acid solution into this battery and we'll make some tests on it. First of all, I need to clean uh, my house a little bit. My friends, before adding the electrolyte, I will just make a test if there's a short circuit inside it or not. Okay, as you see, there is no short circuit in the battery. Now it's time to add the electrolyte. 
I have here my sulfuric acid solution and I will just add the solution to the battery with the help of my injection. I'm adding slowly because the battery should soak the electrolyte. Okay, my friends, we just add the electrolyte into the battery. Now I recommend you to wait for about half an hour because the battery should soak the electrolyte completely. Now I will wait for a while, for about half an hour, and after that, we will make some tests on our battery. We will see the capacity, uh, the voltage inside it, and um, make some tests on our battery, my friends. Just wait for about half an hour. Okay, my friends, after about half an hour, now it's time to charge my battery. I will charge it with 0 0.2 amp about one or two hours. After it completely charged, we will make some tests on our battery. The negative and the positive. Just set my battery to 0 0.2 amp and just charge it. Okay, my friends, after about half an hour, now it's time to charge my battery. I will charge it with 0 0.2 amp about one or two hours. After it completely charged, we will make some tests on our battery. The negative and the positive. Just set my battery to 0 0.2 amp and just charge it. Okay, my friends, we charge our battery for about two hours. Now it's time to test it. First of all, let's see the voltage inside it. Okay, as you see, it has 2.5, 2.6 volt inside the battery. Now I will try to run this blender with my battery you see it can run the blender very fast it can turn it pretty fast okay now Let's run this DC motor. Can you see it can run it very fast? Now let's short circuit the battery. Ooh. The ticker one. Wow. It's pretty strong battery, my friends. Ticker one. Wow. Oh, it's very strong battery. Again, run this DC motor. And again, the blender.
Okay, my friends, if you cover the uh, battery with the plastic and seal it very well, you will get a very nice, beautiful new type of lead acid battery. Okay, we get the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please like my video and subscribe my channel. Take care of yourself. See you in the next videos, my friends.